Hello everybody, welcome back to iCrap SMP, and this is your host Koi, and I'm sitting here on my Octown base, as you can see the wonderful building in the sky up there, which I need to eventually decorate a little bit more, I'm sure, so that way it doesn't kind of stand out so much like it does. But anyway, down here where we are, we I pretty much leveled the land, so everything is flat for once. As you can see right over here, it kind of dipped down a little bit, which I will fix at a later point. I am thinking of putting a cow cooker up here. Yeah, so the inside track is where the cow cooker goes, and the outside track just to give me some extra space to do some deco work. And you'll notice from right way, way up here, you'll see there is no cow. So one of the fun we're going to have, I don't know when, but one of the fun that I'm going to have is figuring out how to get cows to live up here. Yes, that is going to be very, very tricky, and I don't really know what I could do for that. Um, what I'm looking for, by the way, is I put a, a couple chests away. There, there. Okay, good. So, yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to go about doing that, but we're going to find out, and we're going to figure out ways to find a way to get our cows here, and I put you backward, chest. Why do you have to be backwards? There it goes. Much better. Yes, yeah, so anyway, so I'm going to build this based off the design that I have on Project Redstone. I've yet to actually do this. this. is one of the reasons I made that design on Project Redstone. So that way I can actually build the actual cow cooker. And that's what this design is going to be based on here. And I feel like I messed up the line. Let me go check that. Guys, I was on the way to get some dispensers. Uh, I don't know how this guy got in. I don't want to know how this guy got in, but apparently he stayed there. Okay, whatever then. <laughs> if only he was a farmer, I'd be a little bit more happy about that. Okay, guys, I pretty much set up the cow cooker already as it is. This is pretty much the basic cow cooker here that's in Project Redstone. The one difference you'll notice is I put in a couple hoppers up there and another dispenser. The idea that this dispenser will eventually be full of wheat, and this wheat will eventually be drawn in from up above, ideally, and that wheat will be coming from, ideally, a farm that's going to be sitting on top of this. And I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try to make an auto wheat farm up on top of the cow cooker. And if I can get that to function correctly, this will actually turn into a truly AFK system. Where this will just constantly fire wheat at me. And then meanwhile, my wheat will constantly be replenished be by, by putting in the cow. The cows will be pretty much put in here, and then they will be burnt up and giving me steak and leather for days. So we'll see, we'll see how this works. I'm not sure how it's going to function. I just need this to be turned on and off with a single of some kind, and I'll have to sort that out later. And maybe that's what I'll do with this line where it'll kind of come down and do a single out here in front. Who knows? So I'll figure that out at a later point. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and start digging up the backyard and start working on making the rest of this automatic as well. At least automatic cooking. The automatic cooking portion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my cow cooker is pretty much done. It does work. As you can tell, the water does work. The thing that is missing is it is missing a bunch of cows and it is missing a bunch of lava. So our next trick that we're going to have to figure out here is how to get cows up here. The first question is where in the world are we going to find cows? So I'm going to go try to see if I can invade Ziggy's sky base and maybe Ziggy will have some cows. If she got some cows there, then maybe what I'll do is I'll come back here and I'll set up like a little mini cow pen here. And then eventually we'll have to set up a system to figure out how to get the cows up top here and inside the cooker. I do need some like, I don't know, somewhere around 40 cows just to get myself started. Uh, they'll eventually die off from there and then it'll, it'll work itself out after that. And they also need chicken, but I do have a wonderful chicken cooker that has been brewing chicken eggs. And that will solve this problem here and get me the chickens I need for there. And as well, I also need to eventually just cover just cover this mess up here and just make it look a little prettier than it is already because right now it doesn't look like a whole lot and what I, I think I need to do is just give it a good style that is what I think I need to do make this style so much better so that way at least it looks really pretty and really nice and that's what I'm going to do with this whole outside here um, so let me go ahead and visit Ziggy sky base and see what she got there all right day two okay this is good news guys Ziggy's got cows she got plenty of cows. She also has a wheat farm. So I'm going to borrow some of her wheat as well and take some of her cows. I just need two of them. And we're going to figure out how to get the cows up to that portal. So I'm going to have to go and grab some more blocks because I don't have enough blocks to do that. And I'll probably have to make a uh, cow staircase of sorts 
just to get them up to the hill. That'll be fun. Um, so let me go ahead and do figure out how to get the materials I need and then come back off camera. Once I got all the materials, I come back on camera. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I just built a giant staircase that's eventually going to turn into dirt blocks, basically grass blocks very soon. Um, I built this so that way I have a way to get the cattle up this way. And I figured this would be probably the easiest way to carry them. Do I really see you, slime ball? I do. Ow, oh, dude. Now you're going to burn me. Okay, come on. There we go. Little bits of slime. I can get into more slime balls. This would be nice. Free slime for me. Hooray, right? Anyway, so yes, I'm going to get those cattle. I'm going to carry them all the way up the hill. And I'm hoping that um, they don't die first just to get to the portal. And then the other trick will be getting them out to the other nether portal. And then figuring out how to get them back down. Now, I have a trick to hopefully get them back down again. I'll see how that goes, of course. And what is this right here? There's a villager in there. What kind of villager are you? I'm not going to steal her villager. I just want to know what kind of villager you are. This is a nice little farm set up. I like this. Very nice. What kind of villager are you? You're probably a farmer. You are a farmer. Good job. Right on. Okay, that's cool. It works for me. I think she's been using them to do planting and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and get some wheat. Get that out of my way. And get that out of my system. So that way I get, at least have some wheat to work with. Because the cattle will follow me for wheat, if anything. And then I'll use that on top of the leads I'm holding. To realistically um, deal with the cattle. And eventually I gotta make my own wheat farm. So this will be useful to take some of this. Um, I have more than enough seeds. Oh, jeez. More than enough seeds elsewhere. And I'll borrow you. To repair that broken piece that I just broke. Thank you very much. There it goes. Yeah, I have more than enough seeds elsewhere. So I don't have to worry about seeds realistically. But the wheat I could take, at least for, for now. At least that way I know if it works. Okay, I'm out of room. Very, very bad. Okay, ideally I would love to take as many cattle as I could possibly take. But I'll have to see how many realistically I can go with. I'm going to do two at a time. Because I realistically, I think two cattle at a time will be more than enough to handle to get myself in and out of here as reasonably best as possible. Get these guys to go through and shut the door. I did make more babies, so that should help. Diggy, if she ever comes back on the server, know that she's not going to be completely out of cows or anything like that. Uh, let's go this way, cattle. Anyway, so let's go ahead and figure out if I can get these guys up the hill safely without them detaching. Which I know that will eventually start to happen if I get too far. But yes, I did something very much like this with sheep once upon a time. Oh boy, and it's going to be fun. Cattle number two. I already lost you, dude. Okay, so the tricky part is getting them to go up this way. I wonder if I hold wheat there. Will they be... Oh jeez, okay. I don't want to fall off either. Okay, so this looks like it's working. If they fall, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset if they fall. Okay, almost there. I think I made it. Good, we're up at the top. Now let's get us over, over. Come on, over, over. There we go, little cattle. There we go. Yay, we made it. Okay, now we have to get you guys through the portal. Well, it's not going to be fun. Uh, let's detach you, and because you've got... You like wheat, so you're probably going to follow me to the portal, I think. So let's see what happens. Oh, it worked. I got them to go through the portal. Let's find out where they are. Oh, that actually worked. I'm so impressed, guys. I am so impressed. They actually went through the portal. Uh, I probably should lead you from this point. Let's keep going, cattle. Come on. I got wheat. Come on. I could do a minecart thing. That would work at least for one of you. If I have to, I'll do a minecart. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Okay. I'll meet you guys on the other side of the other portal. Okay. Good news. I got the cattle up here. Um, I have a plan to send them that way. I'm going to have to prepare my plan though. Uh, first off, I need to sleep. And then I need to work on a few things. I'm going to do a water elevator kind of thing going down. And I don't know how this is going to work, but I might have to go one cattle at a time to make this work. So let's see what I could do with the water elevator thing. 
Oh, I have extra seed. Oh, excellent. I took some extra seed with me. Oh, sweet. Good. <laughs> okay, if this works to design, these cattle will fall all the way down this water elevator and go down this path here and eventually work their way into the kennel. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try this. Okay, I hope it works. So wish me luck, guys. We'll see what happens. And maybe I should just make, for safety's sake, just make sure all of this... All of this is high enough that they can't just accidentally like jump out on me like you know like they probably want to so let's just make sure for safety's sake that there is no way to jump out okay guys here we go I'm, I'm gonna meet you at the top we're gonna try one of the cattle and what I may end up doing is just breeding the cattle just to make sure that I that I won't do something stupid here so let let's try this and let's see what happens Okay, here goes. If this baby will actually do it, I don't know. Can this baby do it? I hope he does. Oh, come on. He went away again. Really, baby? I want you to go down there. Come on. Baby, where are you? I'll take you, mother. Mother, father, I don't care which one. One of you. Oh, gosh. I don't want both of you. I prefer just one of you. Come on. A little bit more. Ah, you're not going to go in. You're not going to go in. Why? Why must you not go in? All right, I'm gonna push you in. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Urgh. Fall in, there you go, bye cattle. What? You float? No, you're floating. Okay, we're gonna take the water away and you should go with the water down, down, down. Oh no, you're on a tree. Well, at least we're making progress. Okay, guys, we did it. We got one cattle going there. I hope he can make it. I hope he doesn't jump out. He's trying to jump out. I No, no, don't, don't get my wheat. I don't want to give you wheat. Come on, go all the way over to the pen. To the pen, I'll meet you at the pen, buddy. At the pen, over here. Come on, over here. We got ya. A little bit over here. Come on, in, in, get in, get in the pen. Yes, in the pet. No, in, yay, we got you. One cattle, yay. I'll give you food as soon as I get your friend here. Maybe we can make you little babies. Little babies we will have. And as long as we get like 40 of them shoved in there, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to get them up there, but we will work that idea later. And maybe what I'll do is I'll make a cattle pen like up here. So that way it's at least easier for them to get in and out. So we'll see. We'll see what I do here. Yeah, that means transferring up that way, and this is just a mess to get these cattle in there. It's a lot harder than it looks on creative, that's for sure. Guys, look who just came on! Glitcher.b! He's actually a real person! I thought all this time he was not a real person! I really thought he was just a computer or something like that. Oh my god, that's amazing! It's Glitcher.b! It's the first time I've ever actually seen him on the server, but I haven't actually physically laid eyes on him. Come on, little guy. Come on. You, you could stay behind. You can go in. Let's try to get one of you in and one of you not in. Come on. Fall in. Just fall in, cattle. Fall in. Oh, come on. You can do it. It's not that hard. Just, just like lean, lean to your left. There you go. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. They both went down there. Good job, me. Okay. Well. Now I gotta get down there safely. Okay. Whoa! Oh, I missed it. All right. Well, shoot. Uh ha. -huh. Oh, good. They made it. Yay! Now, if I can just get them in here. I think that will be the end of all of everything here, and this will just go where it needs to go, and then um. Oh, it might actually go in the pen. I didn't think of that. But hey, whatever, right? These guys should be able to go in. Uh, let's just bump you, little one. Little one first. Yay, you're going in. Go for it. Go for it. Don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Yay, you're going. Bye. Now you, big one. Big one, you go in there too. Come on. Yay. Oh, no, you came out. What the heck? How did you come out? No, no, go in. Ow. You cattle up there. Come on. Get down here. 
how are you not dying? That just amazes me. Okay, let's see if we can get you, little one, all the way down to the bottom. And into the pen! It's the idea. Into the pen! Come on, and there we go. We got two. We got two. Little one, your turn. All the way in. All the way in. Come on, come on. Yay! We got all three. That is impressive. You may have them, and you may have them. Let's make a little baby. And now we got four cattle. Yay! Now all we have to do is just go what 40 more <laughs> oh my god there's gonna be a while anyway so i'm gonna see if i can get these four somehow up there because that would be the best best idea for me to do this is to make a cow pen up here okay ladies and gentlemen this is what i decided to do to make a little ramp so that way the cattle can just eventually jump up here using some wheat i hope they can't jump over this that would be horrible if they can and then eventually I'm just going to have to nudge them in and shove them in there. And hopefully I shall get them where I need them to go. And why is my buttons... What What's going on with my button? Why is it not... There it goes. Wait a minute. <gasps> I switched one of my buttons somehow. Oh, God. I'll have to fix that. Okay, anyways. So, yeah. So, I've got four cattle right now. And I want to show you an extra special ending. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to say this anyhow to the wonderful cattle that sits here. Um, if you like this episode, please do like and subscribe. And definitely leave me a comment. And I'm going to go now fix my button. Uh, I accidentally changed my F, which is usually my right button. And now I hope I can get to the bed safely because uh, the sun's going down. Anyhow, so I want to show you my extra special ending and enjoy me meeting Glitter B. Alright guys, see you later. Bye! Okay guys, this is the defining moment. I'm about to meet Glitter B for the very first time! <laughs> yes, cows truly live in the sky, that's all I gotta say. Uh, if I ever get through this portal, get me out of this portal thing. Oh, there he is! There's the night guy! Wow, there he is! <laughs> well, doesn't he look neat? I like his outfit. I've never seen his outfit ever before in my life. That's an interesting outfit. Hi! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a nice day! I finally meet Glitter Dobby after, oh, what is it, three, four months now that he's been on the server? For all I know, he's probably live talking to in his own YouTube thingy. So who knows where he is to? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't think he knows where he's going in half the server. Okay, I think I'm going to do the easiest piece of redstone first, which is the part that goes right to here. What's behind here happens to be this water dropper, okay? So you will know the system works if you got the redstone properly applied. And by the way, I didn't quite put the water in yet, so what we need is one, two, three, and then one, two, three, 